with the Super Bowl and all the parties that go along with it taking place on Sunday, we decided to put buffalo wings to the test in tonight's Don't Waste Your Money report. And what we found may just have you heading to the drugstore. Buffalo wings are a specialty at the Candlelight Inn restaurant. Owner John Tracy serves up plenty at game time. Football and finger foods. Simple as that. I mean, I think Super Bowl day, just a day alone, we went over to, to 8,000 pounds. But if you don't have a favorite wing joint for game time, how good are frozen buffalo wings? Consumer Reports just tested seven. There were ones from Tyson, TGI Fridays, and even these from the drugstore Walgreens. Testers sampled more than 800 to find the best. You want a moist, tender chicken with a crispy coating, and you want spiciness, but not so much that it overpowers the wing. Consumer Reports says some come up a little short. They didn't have the kind of crispy fried impression you get in a restaurant quality wing. And some didn't taste great either. Testers said the Weaver Buffalo Wings had a fake butter flavor. The Great Value Buffalo Wings from Walmart had a bit of chewy chicken and rubbery skin. But there was a clear winner, Bell and Evans Buffalo Style Chicken Wings. You can pick those up locally at Hiller's, Whole Food Markets, and Plum Markets. The Bell and Evans had a, a nice browned impression. They, they tasted roasted. They had a good amount of heat and some cumin flavors that really came through. They go for about $7 for a 16-ounce box. But get this, those Walgreens wings, I just had to give them a try because testers said, while well, they're not quite as tasty as the Bell and Evans chicken wings, mm. they were very good overall, Tester said, with a slight vinegar, paprika, and red pepper flavor. They're on sale this week, two 10-ounce boxes for $5. Those are good.